Inside this box is one of the first holographic computers, the HoloLens from Microsoft. We're going to unbox it, show you what's inside. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here, Windows Central, and check it out, we have a HoloLens in this box, believe it or not. Uh, this is the developer edition, so it costs around $3,000, which is not cheap at all, and they're only shipping in waves now, so you have to sign up, and if you sign up now, you probably won't get one until later in the summertime, so uh, they're at wave one now, maybe wave two is shipping, I'm not really too sure. Anyways, this is the box, it comes in, nothing spectacular there, but let's open it up and see what we got. And there is the actual HoloLens, interesting kind of layout here, they do also include, let's see if I can pull it out here, this is the hololens clicker so you hold it in your hand obviously and it is to click through it's like a little remote control very cool stuff i've actually never used one of these so it should be kind of interesting um no word yet on when this is going to launch for the public but at three thousand dollars probably no time soon let's see if i can now pull this out of the box without hitting the camera and by the way and i just pulled off the box by the way i apologize for the video quality this time mark our usual videographer is on assignment so he won't be around which means i'm doing this on our old camera without a proper microphone so that is why everything looks different anyway we got the box here very nice design if you were watching build you probably saw this being uh shown on stage so the box itself is looks like this uh very kind of nice with this nice blue outline here in the bottom uh nothing too crazy just basically a box but let's pull it open and you can see of course the hololens comes in an interesting case now if this case looks familiar because it did to me it looks a lot sort of like the elite controller clamshell case you can hear my little bits in there uh so obviously they're doing the same kind of design here same sort of uh, materials although the color is a little bit different this is definitely a little bit smoother where this is a little bit rougher but uh basically it is the same sort of uh, inspiration kind of a cool thing though so you get the hololens into this nice little case that you can carry around with you throw in your backpack and truth be told it's actually pretty small i mean this actually would easily fit into a backpack so you can carry it around and show off to your friends uh right now this of course is just for developers so that they can make apps using the windows 10 uh, sdks and hopefully those apps will appear on the store and then we'll be able to you know see where holland goes from there now let's open up the little shell here let's see if i can Okay, and by the way, you can see right here, it is a little badge, it just says HoloLens, kind of a nice little touch there, just in case you forget. And there it is, a $3,000 holographic computer. So you can have this as your very own, and we can pull it here, and it's uh, pretty much exactly what it is. Now, what's neat about this, I've been using HoloLens since January 2015 when they first revealed it to the public. And back then, they didn't even have this hardware done yet, this was still strictly prototype. But I've basically tried every version since, and uh, this one is the latest, and they've done quite a few improvements. For instance, you can see up here now, they have volume controls up and down. Let's see if I can zoom in here. You can get a better look. See that focuses, yeah. So you got your volume controls above the ear. So you got up and down, or sorry, up, down, have that reversed. And over here are brightness controls. So basically it's obviously controls how bright the holograms are. Uh, kind of a nice feature there. Uh, also, you can see how this pulls apart. So that's to fit. So that's another change. You also have this wheel here that goes on the back and that basically brings this piece in on the back as well for fitting on your head. So this is the halo, this actually fits on your head. Meanwhile, the actual HoloLens flexes around you. Uh, pretty neat design. Going around to the back here, you have a headphone jack, uh, which is, I think that's a headphone jack, I imagine it is. Uh, although this has built-in speakers. In fact, these are the spatial speakers here, uh, sit right above the ears, and they're really, really good because uh, what HoloLens could do, of course, is simulate sound and actually be positional. So when you are turning your head away, that sound will only shift to one ear versus the other, and it gives a really cool effect. Uh, over here, of course, is a micro USB port. So that is for charging only. Uh, you cannot plug accessories into this, which is sort of an interesting limitation, although then again, 
Perhaps you don't want to be completely tethered while wearing this. You can, however, connect up Bluetooth devices to it. In fact, you can connect a Bluetooth keyboard to it, which is kind of a cool idea if you think about it because you can use that to type on things. So if you're in Skype or one of the numerous other universal Windows platform apps that are coming out or already out, uh, you can actually use this as a full-time holographic computer and it'll be hands-free except when you want to type on a keyboard definitely cool i'm definitely have to play around with that see what's like you can see there all the cameras that are involved with this so uh what makes hololens very interesting of course it's actively scanning the room and does a uh, grid layout look very much like the matrix and uh maps out everything out to the computer itself uh this is running of course full windows 10 which is really kind of cool and then you can see in the back there are the actual prisms that uh basically do the hologram part and of course that's what everybody you know supposedly was complaining about with the field of view stuff being kind of small matter of fact you can actually see those little squares there or rectangles rather those are what the actual field of view or it's going to be now i will say and if you've seen my latest report on this uh wearing the hololens this latest version uh the field of view wasn't that big of a deal frankly um i don't think they actually changed it but the comfort of the hololens is just a lot better than it was before and it's all about lining things up if you line up those uh eyepieces the reticles you know with your vision it's actually a very good experience and that's not just me you can actually talk to other people or read what other reporters have said about the latest hololens experience and i'm sure they'll agree let's go to the rest here let's see what we got nothing there just a little foam padding kind of cool and here it looks like an instruction booklet so let's get started I'm going to have to definitely read through this. It does have Wi-Fi built in, of course, and you can do all sorts of cool things. So I'll have to read that later. And this looks to be the charging stuff. So very much like a surface charger there. Pull out the prongs, plug it in. Obviously all very portable. That looks like a cleaning cloth. There is the micro USB cable, so nothing too fancy there. And I'm not really sure what some of these things are. This looks like some, oh, here's the, like a nose piece to go underneath so i'll have to check out and read the directions but uh i think that's pretty much it oh there's also this here which looks to be some sort of form-fitting uh straps maybe they go on top i'll have to figure that out but there you go so i'm gonna go play with my hololens now i gotta figure out what to do with this now i'm not a developer but we do have a developer uh daniel gary who is of course doing our app and he actually has a hololens too and so him and I will be playing around with this quite a bit, including doing the remote computing because he's in Arkansas and I'm in Massachusetts. So we'll be able to do Skype and a bunch of other cool things. He's going to be building out some apps and we'll be trying out a lot of uh, different experiences with this. So head to Windows Central for more information. We'll be doing a lot with HoloLens. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. But there you go. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.